That's so, true. And I think I think the fear of failure, and this is a very important point that you have raised. Uh, you know, one thing I learned uh, was to be comfortable uh, being vulnerable, being comfortable failing, um, because. Um, you know, I've learned this in, when I pretty lately, I mean, that realization has dawned on me pretty lately, but maybe subconsciously I was doing it, is to treat life uh, like a play, like a game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, one doesn't think about that, right? We are always serious, at least I, I've been always serious about my approach towards life, uh, maybe in terms of uh, my demeanor and the way I interact could be very different, but I've been very serious about life. Now, I think that doesn't make one uh, um, uh, open to uh, taking risks because one is always thinking, hey, what if I fail exactly like what you said, right? I think it's an impediment to growth. And yeah. and, uh, uh, and uh, you must have read this book by Carol Dweck, right? The Growth Mindset. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think one has to be comfortable uh, being uncomfortable. Mm. And uh, the growth mindset is all about that at, at, the, at, the, at the core of it, right? So if one is dealing in a stable condition, all predictable situations, one can never take the risk. And uh, what follows in stock market is true with life. High risk, high reward. Yeah. Uh, so if you're open to risk, measure the risk well, evaluate them well, uh, take a sort of a conscious call, then I think the chances are you won't go wrong. And even if you, don't, even if you go wrong, I don't think we should really be judgmental. And I think mm -hmm. that's the mistakes that most humans make. They have a guilt, they have a judgment saying that, oh, I did this wrong, you did this wrong. And that's where the problem takes place. So I feel uh, one should not have the fear of failure. One can plan to mitigate the risk. One can plan to reduce the probability of a failure, but one should not have a fear of failure. 